Hi everyone, it's the English Swimmer here and welcome back to Let's Play The Novelist Part 9. So in the last part we all had that heart-wrenching moment from Linda where she lost her grandma and she was crying in her letters and it was just really really heartbreaking and I kind of felt bad because I was bad-mouthing Linda but now I realise that, you know, I don't know, I just felt sorry for her, I just felt really bad. So we're just going to continue with this game. And this chapter is called The Road Ahead. Okay, this sounds like it's drawing in towards the end. The summer came to an end. Okay, well that just confirmed my suspicion and the summer is coming to the end so I guess this is towards the end of the game if I'm on the right lines of thinking correctly. Let's check what we've got around here. Aww, you can hear Tommy read. Barb, by the time you get this we'll be on our way home so don't write me back here. It's hard to believe the summer's almost over. So much has happened. The show, getting used to life up here, painting more than I have in years, losing Grandma Jo, figuring out where Dan and I are. Part of me doesn't want to leave, but I know it's time. They say you can't go home again. I think I know what that means now. I don't have it in me to explain everything here, but things will never be the same. I don't even know what home I'm going back to. The only thing I do know is that I'm ready to start painting again. For real, like I did before Tommy. I'm scared and excited and nervous all at the same time. I just wish I knew how we were going to make it work. I hope this finds you well. Yours, Linda. Okay, so my sneaky suspicions were correct and they are leaving for home. So we'll see where this chapter takes us. Let's read this. Mr. and Mrs. Kaplan, after additional consideration, I'd like to augment my recommendation. I believe that the best course of action for Tommy's development will be continued tutoring throughout the school year. It will be important to coordinate with his teachers and make sure the lessons are aligned. As before, encouragement from both of you is a critical component. Mr. Kaplan, I have observed that Tommy looks to you in particular for validation, which I believe comes from a connection he's made with your profession. If at all possible, you should be a part of his tutoring, although Mrs. Kaplan is more than capable of aiding him as well. I hope I haven't overstepped my bounds by contacting you, but Tommy is a bright boy and I think with the proper support he can not only catch up, but excel. I understand you'll be leaving town shortly, but please don't hesitate to contact me by phone during the school year if I can be of help. Dr. Donald Samuels. So I'm guessing that's from the summer school that Tommy went to, but he thinks that the tutoring should continue and that Tommy gets a little extra push in his schooling when he's back at home, which hopefully will happen. Here we've got Tommy walking in school with his new friends and I hope he has some friends when he goes back home. I really hope that. Let's read this one. Mr. Kaplan, we have reached a decision and are pleased to offer you the position of Assistant Professor of Literature. We had many applicants for the position and after careful review we feel your history with the university and your status as a published author will give you a unique connection to our students. We apologize for the lateness of the decision, but administrative adjustments delayed our annual budget review and the position was only recently approved for hire. Professor Strode will handle your course load until September 21st, at which point you will take over classes. We will provide temporary housing for you during the speedy transition, but need your answer as soon as possible. Your offer letter is enclosed. Please sign and return at your earliest convenience. Thomas Castle at Hardesty University. Hmm. So he obviously applied for a job as a university lecturer, which he has, but are we going to take it or not? Linda, I'm pleased to meet you. Well, by letter anyway. I'm surprised we've never met, considering how small the art community is, but your letter 
but from your letter it sounds like you may have not been as active as you'd have liked for a few years. Regardless, I'm very excited to tell you more about our work here. At a high level of the program is simple. We're a collective of artists who use our work for the betterment of our city. Uh, do, do, do. So this is all about courses and free courses and yeah so that's about like an art school which is probably what Linda wants to do. What's she thinking about? Better for Tommy too. Come here, we want to explore your memories girl. Let's see what we've got in here. Ah, is that Tommy? I've never noticed that picture. He is so cute. Let's see what we've got. Nothing in here. Nothing in here by the looks of it, but we've got a suitcase. We're all ready for going home. Oh, look, she has a picture of her grandma on her bedside table. Oh, poor Linda. I'm guessing, yep, her memories are down here. You can say it, if I got a real job. What? You can say it, if I got a real job. You can say it if I got a real job, did he just say? I could even go full time if... So she could go full time in painting if Dan got a real job. So she doesn't think Dan's job's real. Oh, that's going to cause some arguments. What else do we have? Is it in her art studio? Yep. How did I know? We just got back from the funeral. It was even harder than I expected, but it was moving to see just how many people loved Grandma Jo. She really was a special woman. Dan was there every step of the way, even though he got in a lot of trouble for missing that book signing. I don't think it's fair how mad they got at him about that. It was a funeral. But I guess that doesn't count for much in the business world. Okay, so Dan got in trouble, but... Linda's glad that we went with her. So we're going to exit her memory and read her thoughts. Send my painting for the full-time application. Okay. Ah, oh, Tommy, my favorite buddy. What are your thoughts? I wanted to see the plane so bad. Why didn't Daddy take me? Sorry if you just heard my dog bark. <laughs> oh, it's him and his dad. So he really does have such a, like, he, Dan has a responsibility with this kid. This kid wants to be just like his dad. Let's explore his memories and see what we've got going on here. There's nothing in his room. Oh, there we go. What about my friends? Oh, no, didn't mean to do that. You'd make new ones, buddy. Oh, so he's talking about going home. He doesn't really want to go home by the sounds of it. Let's see what he's drawn. Him and his dad, once again. Him and his dad. Is that it? Is that all of his memories? Yep. So let's click out of his memories. So yeah, Tom, not Tom, is that his name? What's his name? I've completely forgotten the dad's name. But yeah, he has a great responsibility with Tommy because where is he? Where are you? I forgot. Why have I had mind blank? Why can I not remember his name? What is wrong with me? Oh my god, guys. I think I'm like Dory out of Finding Nemo right now. Dan. That's his name. Can see the threads. I think I can pull off this book. Ugh. This damn book. How long's the drive? Two hours. We'd have to move. The drive to the university, I'm guessing. They'd have to move house if he were to accept the university job. Let's see what he's going got going on down here. Let's read. What's going on? Can we read that, buddy? Paul was mad, but he understood. 
It helped that I threw him a bone with the quarterly idea. I think it appealed to his competitive nature. He said he wasn't sure it would work, but I knew he was sandbagging. He probably took it as a personal challenge and called Brackett to pitch the idea as soon as we hung up. Okay, I can't for the life of me remember what that quarter thing was about, but okay. Um, we're going to exit out Dan's memories because that's all he's got for us. Is it worth it? I don't know, Daniel. Is it? I just talked things over with Dan, and we really have some serious thinking to do. The job at Hardesty sounds like a great opportunity for him, but moving would be so hard on us. I really want to join Art for All. And after everything we've been through with Tommy, it would be better for him to have some stability. I could even go full-time if Dan found a steady job, though I know he can't do that if he takes on extra tutoring with Tommy, and I'd never fault him for that. If we stay in Laurenton and Dan works with Tommy, I could still do the program part-time. Either way, it'd be better for Tommy and me than moving. But I know that professorship would mean so much to Dan. Can't everything be simple just once? Oh, why is this game so aggravating? There's so many choices and each choice has such a big effect on this family and I can't take it anymore. <laughs> There's too much pressure on me, guys. Do we move? Do we stay? What do we do? I, oh, I don't know. I've got a feeling that if we stay, then Dan's book will be okay, but I don't know. Oh. There were days when I thought this moment would never come. When I finish writing this, I'm going to pack everything up and drop the manuscript in the mail. My palms are sweating just thinking about letting it go. I had no idea how hard it would be to finish this one. It took everything I had, and it's hard to look back over the summer without laughing. To think the plan was to get away from everything and just focus on the book. But you can't get away from yourself. Life doesn't give a damn about geography. I don't know when you'll get this or where we'll be when you do, or what you'll think. I know what I think, but objectivity left the building months ago. Some days I think this is the one. Other days I have a sick feeling in the pit of my stomach that says my career is over. All I can do is drop this in the mail and hope. Here goes. Okay, so we have our fingers crossed for Dan that this book is going to be amazing and everyone's going to love it because that would be really awesome if that happened and would make my life a lot easier. Hardesty University. So I'm guessing that's the letter. Just drop the envelope in the mail. Okay, that's the envelope to join the university. And let's read Tommy's thoughts for his final clue. Oh, Tommy, where are you? Here he is. Playing with his car as usual. What a cutie. No, we don't want to explore his memories. Meow. Oh, hey, he's honey, so what cute. What you doing? Racing. Oh, show my friends my new backpack at school. Okay, so this is the choice. We can drop the university application envelope in the mail to confirm that we will be moving and Dan will have a steady job, which means Linda can go full, po uh, full time at the thing, but Tommy won't be able to go to school. However, is there a, is this a trick question? Because if they move, Linda won't be able to make it to the full time thing, will she? Because they'll have moved and she won't want to drive two hours to join to get there every day. I am so confused. I think we should go for Linda and Tommy. But I don't know. I think we should have Tommy as the main one because we don't want to move and we'll go to school because more upheaval for Tommy is just hard on him and then I think we should go for Linda for the second one she can do part-time Dan will still be a writer and have his money and that just makes sense to me I think I think that's what makes sense I don't know my head's a jumble with this game there's just too many decisions I'm gonna do it. Do I do it? Do I choose the backpack? By selecting the backpack means the Kaplans will stay in Laurenton, which will also let Linda work with the art for all part time. Dan will have turned down the offer from Hardesty. There are no compromises. Eek. 
Okay, let's go look at the other options. No! I chose it! I was meant to click on- I was meant to go choose the other options, or look at the other options. But I guess that was the way it was meant to be, because I just did that by accident. Whoops! I think I would, probably would have gone with that anyway, honestly. I felt as if that was the best decision for the family, hopefully. I hope their marriage doesn't fall apart because I'd be so upset if it did. I don't even know what we're looking for. Oh, whisper to Dan to finish the story. Okay, let's see how this turns out. Ooh, whisper. What we should do is a mistake that Molly just clicked on accidentally. <laughs> Dad couldn't bear the thought of Tommy having another difficult year at school, so he committed to tutoring Tommy on a daily basis to help him catch up and eventually get ahead. Tommy was old enough to understand that even though schoolwork wasn't fun, his father was making it easier. Okay. So, they came closer. Although Dan chose to focus on tutoring Tommy instead of taking a part-time job, staying in Laurenton meant, still meant Linda could join art for all part-time. Being around other artists helps her own work mature. And so they're happy. She's happy. Let's see about Dan though. Poor Dan. Dan could barely get the words out when he called Hardesty to decline the offer. He knew they wouldn't care about his reasons and he turned down the job with full knowledge that he might never receive such an offer again. He'd have to keep clawing his way forward, praying that the next advance check would come. Ooh, big decisions. And that's how the Kaplan summer in the house on the cliff came to an end. It was much more than just a single season on the coast. Dan's choices there would come to define the rest of his life. Dan sent his final draft to Grovesville with a knot in his stomach. He knew it wasn't very good, the readers agreed. Oh no, it sold poorly. And he only published one more book. Oh no. Damn it. And by summer's end, Tommy was a new child. He returned to school fully, full of joy and became one of the most popular kids in his class. He remained friendly and grounded, getting national attention for his drawing ability. Wow. He became a graphic novelist and was beloved by everybody. That's good. By the end of summer, Dan and Lindia were in a happier place and their relationship had grown solid. Dan had proven his commitment with his actions and the lessons they learnt that summer served them well. As they grew old, they looked back fondly on that summer. Yes! I'm so glad their marriage worked out. That was my main priority. Dan would look back on that summer from time to time and wonder why he had made the choices he had. He never quite shook the feeling that the voice in his head had been more than just a voice, and in quiet moments he even imagined that he had been a character in someone else's novel. At times he was almost sure of it. You are a character in my novel. How does that feel? Okay, so... That is the end of the game, guys. I wasn't going to let you sit through all of that the music was quite loud anyway but thank you so much for watching the novelist i loved this game this let's play it was so much fun to me the choices were so hard and i feel like it's a great game i think if you like this and you want to play it definitely do that because you can go in so many directions with this game and I'd love to see what get what direction you guys choose and how that affects the outcomes because you get an outcome pretty much every time you play this game you get a different outcome which I found really cool there's like endless ways this game could end so if you enjoyed this let's play I definitely suggest you go and get this game and try it out for yourselves Try it a different way from me and let me know in the comments how it went on for you. Thank you all so much for watching and for your support on this Let's Play. I hope you all enjoyed and I won't see you in the next part because this is the end. But thank you so, so much for watching. Bye guys!